Good morning. Hi guys, Cindy Otter here with my Artsy Endeavors. How are we doing today? I am freezing. I'm always cold. Um, anyways, today we are here to work on my creative year. And this week um, we are working on the color of blue. This was last week. That was so much fun. I had fun doing that. All right, so let's see what we have in here for blue. That's a pretty cool blue one. Let's just take, hmm, I'm gonna say this one. Uh, what we're gonna do this week is we're gonna talk about what the color blue uh, represents for me in chronic pain and how I get through my blue days. So get that out of the way. So here's our paper. Now you guys know I've already done um, a clear coat of clear gesso on this and then the back side is just plain. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to do a little bit of journaling on here. Now yes, I did put gesso on here, but that's okay. I'm still going to journal. Um, what I plan on using today, here's my Neo Colors and here's my Stabilo Woodies. So I'm just going to do some journaling in blues. And you know what? It's okay if they get messed up because it's okay. What color is this one? This one says blue indigo. All right, so let me do some quick journaling about my blue color, and I'll be right back with you. All right, so I did a little bit of journaling on here. Now, what um, the color blue means to me when um, I'm in pain is I associate the color blue with, okay, your body's starting to talk to you. It's getting louder. Um, that means you need to listen. So, you know, what am I do? What do I? What am I going to do to listen to my body when it's telling me, "Hey, you know, I've had about enough. You need to stop whatever you're doing. We need to calm down. You know, what are we going to do?" So, um, in some ways, it's a little bit similar to what I do when it's really, really loud. But in other ways, it's a little bit different. So um, I will take, for example, um, when my body really starts talking, first of all, I'm going to look and say, all right, what am I doing? Am I in my art room too long? Have I sat too long? I got to bring my, my brushes down here because I can't see them. Um, what's going on? Why is my back screaming at me? And nine times out of ten, hold on, I got to see if I can get my water open. Um, nine times out of ten, what the issue is, is I've been doing something that I shouldn't be doing longer than I should be doing it. <laughs> does that make sense? <laughs> it does to me. <laughs> um, so, you know, I need to listen. That's the, the number one lesson when you're in chronic pain and you have to live with it daily, is you really have to listen. Because if you don't listen to your body, listen to what it's telling you I've learned the hard way you just cause yourself more pain and there's no reason for it you know um, are you doing something too long okay so if you are is number one is it that important all right when I go out to the kitchen and I stand there and do dishes all right I may have a few extra dishes because maybe I felt good that morning and I decided to put together some type of a dinner right so I'm standing there doing those dishes and you guys all know if you think about the angle of where your sink is and think about a bad back, it's not the greatest thing to be doing when you have a bad back. It hurts. The way you stand there is just, it's, it's hard. So, all right, is it, is it that important at that very moment to get all of those dishes done? Let's be honest. Is it? No, it's not. So, you know what? Take a break. Go sit down, go relax, maybe go for a walk, maybe go in the laundry room and fold a load of clothes, you know, something to get yourself away from whatever angle or whatever um, situation you've put yourself in. I don't know where all my paint rags went. They're all gone. All right, well, we'll have to use a paper towel today because that's what I can see. So. Um, so, you know, you have to think about what you're doing and why your back is or your your body is telling you what it is all right i'm getting blue on the back side but that's okay because we're gonna play now like i said i did i need to listen how can i get it to calm down 
Um, what am I doing that I shouldn't be? Uh, things like that. And you have to think about it and listen to it. Now, I have this. Um, this is just a dictionary page. And I was playing around with um, something I had that was round. Uh, I can't remember what it was. What was I playing with? Um, maybe a turntable? I don't know. You know what it was? It was Lazy Susan. I had a Lazy Susan out here and I was um, playing around with it. So, um, what I want to put on here, the way I think about my chronic pain is my chronic pain is always around me, right? It's always there. It's never going to go away. Um, it's, it's there. So what do I need to do to start listening to this pain and stop making it get louder and louder and louder? Uh, what do I need to do? All right, I've got this journaling on here, and I just decided that I want to mess it up. It's there. I know it's there. It's okay. Let's get it messed up. I want some more of this blue color on here. Yes, yes, yes. So I just want to mess it up. I like that paper underneath, but I don't like that paper, if that makes sense. So we're just going to keep activating. This is um, the Neo Colors. Of course, that you saw was one of the Stabilo Woodies. I had a small set of those Stabilo Woodies, and I just I, I enjoy them. I enjoy playing with them. Those are actually on my cart for... Um, this other set that I have, they're on my cart for when I'm on the couch. And I decided to buy a set for here in the studio. And yeah, I really like them. Yeah, that's better. I like that better, don't you? I do. All right. So we've got that. So again, what am I going to do to listen to this? First thing I'm going to do is dry this up. And I will be right back. Okay, guys, so what I did is I got out some little mark-making tools here. I got a stamp. I have this from uh, Crystal Kitzman. Um, I love it. absolutely love it. And it's just such a simple design, isn't it? I love it. And then I have this little piece of foam. So I want to add something to this background to make it a little bit more interesting. I'm just going to throw a little bit of this teal. Peacock Teal by DecoArt. You can get this like in your Hobby Lobby, that kind of thing. And then I'm just going to take my brayer and I'm just going to, we're going to put some dots on here because, you know, everything like chronic pain is circular and that's, you know, I kind of think of it that way because it seems like, you know, you just continue to go around and around and around. All right. I like this. This is light, but now I need to get a darker blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I need some contrast in here. So, let's see. Here's a darker blue. This is a navy blue. Let's use some of this. You know what? What is this one? No. All right, let's use this navy blue. Ugh. Man, my fingers are so cold this morning. It's really hard to open these things. All right, so here's some navy blue. Looks more like a purple, but hey, it'll work, All right? Just gonna take it and put some out here on my palette with um, the turquoise. No biggie. I'll we'll make it blue. All right, and then I'm gonna use this again. Yeah, that's better. Isn't that a great little stamp? How cool is that? Love it. Just throw some more dots on here. Dot, dot, dot. We're all about dots. All right. So that's done. Now I want to take this circular here, this stamp. I'm going to throw it on a block. I don't know where my small block went. Oh, I do. It's underneath my big one. Might be why I can never find it. And then I'm just going to run my little brayer over it. And actually, I don't even need to do that. I can just put it right here in this paint. You know, you can use your stamps like this. Um, I think
think I've told you guys this before, but just make sure that when you're done, you wipe off your stamp um, because you don't want all that paint drying on there. I'm going to grab a baby wipe to do that. And just make sure all the paint's off because you want your stamps to last. You don't want all that paint to um, build up on there because then you wouldn't have a decent stamp. So, all right, so that's done. I'm going to let this dry. While I set that aside and let it dry, I've got this circle here that we talked about. And I have this image. Now, um, like I said, this image is going to be in the files portion of the group. It is a free image. It's one that um, I had Gina create for me a while back. Um, because I've been using it to track my pain and you know it helps when you when you actually track it and start figuring out what causes it um, and you know what you've done wrong maybe something that you've ate maybe um, you know a place that you've stood or anything temperature um, I know we had just come back from being down south not long ago and um, the minute we got like into the Pennsylvania mountains, my joints started feeling like there was metal bands squeezing around them. It was awful. And I told my husband, this cold just kills my joints. It makes them ache. It makes them hurt. It, it, I feel like they're all swelled up. So, you know, it's um, the weather. The weather pays a plays a huge part in your body and how it feels so don't think just because you know well I didn't do anything different everything's the same well did you check your weather because sometimes that is the key that's the clue um, as to what's going on as well so just think about that when you're you know worried about the chronic pain <sighs> what's on that um, you know the weather does not help or in some cases it does help when I get in warmer weather, um, down south, for example, my joints don't feel anywhere near as painful. Um, my back still is the same because it's just, that's my back. I'm going to glue this down on this circle. Got to get some glue. Now, if you guys notice, I use all different kinds of glue, um, glue sticks. And that's because I have a drawer over here, and it's just got a ton of glue sticks in it. So whatever I grab, that's what I pick out, and that's what I use. So I think a couple days ago, I grabbed the Yoohoo. This time it's just, I don't know, this glue stick. So, all right, let's see. This should be pretty well dry. We're just going to heat it real quick. This needs to be smaller. It needs to be smaller. So we're going to cut it right here and then we're just going to go around. It's not going to be perfect. It's all good. I don't care. I'm not perfect. Why should my art be? You know? So, you know, I, I hope you guys, I hope it, some of this makes sense to you about the chronic pain. I don't want to always you know beat it to death but like I've said this is my focus for this year and I'm hoping some of the things that I've learned maybe I can help you with um, and you know maybe your journey won't be quite so bad oh, I kind of like that idea I kind of like it I kind of like it I do like it guess what these are gonna get glued down right here so let's glue them down I kinda like it so um, again blue represents mm, something's going on you need to change change positions um, sit down lay down stand up whatever the case may be you've got to do something girl because this body is not happy so that's what blue represents to me and it represents I need to listen. So um, 
if I don't listen, it gets much, much worse. I don't know why that's not sticking. Why are you not sticking? It might be because of the gesso, maybe? Maybe I just plain didn't use enough glue. How about that? I think that's it. I just didn't use enough glue. And then I'll poke a hole here through this hole. With my scissors. Maybe, maybe not. Mm. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I have a hole punch I probably could use, but eh. There we go. Works. It works. So much fun. I love doing this stuff. Um, since we are moving south, or maybe we've already went, I'm not sure, I'm trying to record these a little bit ahead, but um, since we are moving down south, I'm trying to record some, and then pack some, and then record some. <laughs> it's been crazy! But it, it'll happen. It, it just, time will tell. Time will, will make it work. So, yeah, that's what it's doing. I'm not putting on enough glue. That's what the problem was. Do, 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 do. So, what do you do when, you're, when your body starts really talking to you? What do you do? Depending on what kind of talk it is, sometimes I'll, I'll take ibuprofen. Um, an 800 milligram ibuprofen. Um, sometimes, again, it's just a change of position which we can do that, that's not a problem. Um, you know, sometimes it, it gets, <laughs> when, when you don't listen to it, it's just gonna get worse. And then what's gonna happen, you're gonna go into one of those red days, and that's just not cool. I like this right here. So you gotta, you have to keep yourself away from those red days as much as possible. And that's what I'm trying to do with my packing. I, I do a little bit until I know it's not happy. And then, oh, put that there. Let's go down just a little bit. Right there. Yeah? Yeah. That looks good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so now what I'm going to do is... I wanted to, um, I'm going to cut this off just because if I don't, it'll annoy me. I wanted to do out some words on some white paper, but I don't, I don't think I want to do white. I think I want to do like a real light blue. So let me grab either a real light blue or another piece of book text. And we're going to put some words on here as to what we do when we get to our body starting to talk to us. Um, you know, kind of like last week we put in our in our little jar things that we turn to. We're going to do the same thing, only we're just going to do it in the words. And um, let me grab some blue paper and I will be right back. Alright, so look what I found. I found this sheet of paper. Um, it's one of my painted papers that has these little circles on it. So what we're going to do, we're just going to cut some of these out. And we're going to use them for our words. So the first word is huge. It's what? Listen! We have to listen. I have to listen. I have to listen to my body. And sometimes my body just gets really mad at me, but... Alright, that's enough. Throw those in the scraps. Okay. So let's write our words on our papers. And I have to do this in a permanent pen because I want to put some water and stuff. Oh, that guy got... All right, let's find a pen that is Sharpie. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna listen. That's the very first thing. And then I'm gonna change. 
So my change can be, I'm going to change position. I'm going to stop doing whatever it is that is talking to me. Um, if I have to, I'm going to rest. Right? Okay. And again, this is when our bodies are just, they're, they're talking quite loud. All right. If it comes to be really bad, I'm going to use my meds. Okay. I also use my ice. Now, some people are going to say, oh my God, you use ice? Well, we found out through trial and error that my body does not like heat when it's applied to like my back. Um, when I put heat on my back, within two days, it hurts so bad I can barely walk. So what we found is ice works for me. So I have my ice machine. All right, what else are we going to do? Um, we're going to change, we're going to rest, we're going to ice, we're going to meds. And um, the biggest one is listen. So let's get these put down. And then we're just going to do some doodling and play around on this and um, have fun. All right, so let's get this down. A piece of paper stuck to that. All right, so the biggest one is listen. Right, we need to listen. That's the first one. Second one is change. These really aren't in any order. Um, you know, when you live with chronic pain so long, eventually it just it becomes um, second nature to do the things that you need to do. There's ice. There's rest. And here is meds. I am um, very, oh, what's the word, reluctant to take the medications. And sometimes my husband will yell at me. He's like, what do you think they're there for? I'm like, yeah, but I don't like taking them. You know, I don't, I don't want to be addicted to narcotics. And I don't, you know, I just, I don't, I try to deal with it. And sometimes that just, it shoots me in the foot because I'm doing something I shouldn't do. So let's find... Like a water brush. So this is just a Stabilo All pencil. Um, it's just a water soluble black pencil. I love my Stabilos. I use them a lot. Um, it's so funny because every time we go somewhere and I get to an art store and they happen to have some, I'll pick up one or two because I'm afraid I'm going to run out. Isn't that isn't that how we always do it? Um, so you know, I, I just I love these pencils. They they just I like them. So next time you're in an art store or shopping online, take a look at the Stabilos because they're really cool. So I'm just going to darken up around these. I'm going to darken up the circles. I'm going to darken up, you know, um, oops, just darken it up. All right, so now I'm just going to add a little bit of water to it. And then I'm probably going to, um, I don't know, I might get out a, just maybe a white marker. Come on. It's funny, I put these gloves on this morning. Um, I've had these for quite a while. I found them at a yard sale, or not a yard sale, a craft sale um, a couple of years ago. And I put them on this morning, and this one's all covered in glue. <laughs> I was like, oops, you can tell where I wear these. All right, so just darken it up a little bit. Kind of pop things out. That's the word. Stabilos make things pop, don't they? See, isn't that cool? So we are really, really excited. We cannot wait. Jeff... Jeff went this morning to get more boxes. Um, like I said, we're in the process of packing. And, uh, yeah. We, we have dreamed of moving south for the last 30 years. And it was always, you know, the job kept us here. And the job this and the job that. And now we have the opportunity. Jeff is retired. And, um, yeah, we're really, really excited. 
we actually went down around Christmas time and you know we went down with the intent of just looking at houses and you know we have our list of what we want to have and these are our requirements and and um, we looked at quite a few houses and this one it's it's got a lot of work that needs to be done it hasn't been updated in a long time um, it's got this really funky pink bathroom <laughs> I don't know what it is with older houses and pink bathrooms, but yeah, it's there. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, so, you know, we found it and we're like, oh my God, should we buy it? You know, we weren't, we really weren't expecting to find something that quick with everything that we wanted in it. So we hemmed and hawed and hemmed and hawed and we're like, yeah, we need to. Because we didn't know, you know, are we going to find another one like it? Probably not. You know how long it it just i'm a big uh pros and cons person i like to sit down and do a list of pros and a list of cons and um the pros were a, a list long and the cons there was four cons so we decided that with those pros and cons it, it pretty much told us you know um what we needed to do so we're really excited. Uh, I'm, I know you guys are saying, oh my god, your art room! You know what? Yeah. Um, my hubs built me this art room, my art studio, and he did a wonderful job. And we discussed that. And he's like, honey, he goes, I can build you another one. He goes, whatever you want, we'll make it work for you. So, you know, I'm very, very lucky that way. He's very good to me. So, all right. I like it. We've got our words on there. Um, I think I am going to do the top. I always forget to put the top on here. I think I just want to. I don't want that pen. Let's find another one. Let's take. Let's just take a white Posca. Or this is, yeah, this one's a Posca. I have some of these that are like a no-name brand Poscas, and I really like those too. So I'm just going to dot. Give it a border. You know, even if you're watching these videos and you're like, well, I'm not in chronic pain. I don't want to hear about this. Okay, that's fine. You can put me on mute if you want and just, um, you know, watch what I do as far as playing around with my art and making, you know, pages. So that's all good as well. I have no problem with that. All right. I like it and I don't want to change it. So this is my page for chronic pain for the color blue of this week. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Now what I am going to do is the same thing I did last week. I don't want to leave these blank on the back side. So I'm going to dry this up real quick. I'm going to flip it over and then I'm going to fast forward through decorating the back side. So I hope you guys enjoy. I'll be back.
guys, so here we are. This is this week's video. We have the front, which is where we talked about um, the cycling, um, you know, of the color blue and when your body starts really talking to you, what you need to do. Just had to put a little bit more glue on her arm and maybe on her feet. I'm not going to put anything on her today because um, I did last week and I actually showed you where the pain was, but. I'm using her just as, you know, my chronic pain logo, I guess, if you want to call it that. So, there she is. You know one other thing I want to do to her? I just noticed. I want to go around her and bring her out a little bit. Just bring her out. I am still cold. Now I have two heaters going. I have my pellet stove cranking heat and I have a little electric heater next to me on the floor. I just, I cannot get warm today. But it could be that outside it's one degree with a negative 21 wind chill. Yeah, it's cold. Alright, so there she is. There we go. Now you can see her a little bit better. Um, so that's the first side. Now this side, again, I just played. Um, this is a tag I had made a while ago. These were the trees that I had made a while ago. And how I made the trees is I just cut out random shapes and then I just started gluing them together on a, on a trunk. Um, very simple to do. This is just an old piece of watercolor. I have no idea. Um, see this is just an old I, I can tell you this is from quite a while ago when I was drawing eyes so let's just fix that up a little bit I'll fix it up so anyways this is oops yeah there it is okay this is just um you know I was playing on a piece of watercolor paper and we've got on here believe you can one day at a time and never stop and that's the whole message behind chronic pain all right, I hope you guys have enjoyed this week um, with our prompts. Again, just take whatever inspires you, and you can do a project. If it doesn't inspire you, that's fine. You can always see what's going on next week. And as always, like, comment, share, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. And happy creating. All right? Have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.